Hello, 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 everyone. Cynthia Toet, Ms. Flip It, your gypsy medicine woman and your happiness coach. And you can also find me on Flip and Fills on Instagram. That's F L I P, the letter N, Fills, F E E L S. And it's a pretty fun place to hang out over there. And let's see what else does this lady do. She has a, she's a TV host for a TV program called Your Hidden Love Story. And it comes on every Monday night on my YouTube channel, Gypsy Medi Medicine Woman. But all you have to do is type in your hidden love story. And um, you will, <laughs> somebody just messaged me. They're all excited about tonight's show. <laughs> it starts in about 30 minutes. And I got another ding over there. So, you know, they're all excited about the show that's getting ready to come on. Your Hidden Love Story every Monday night at 9.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's where you find that show. But for right now, we're gonna do a reading before I start the show. <laughs> I'm in action, I'm in momentum, I'm in movement. So first we have the star. Woo hoo hoo, wishes and dreams coming true. The love that is up there above is coming down to be down here below. So we're operating from love and above. We're operating from those higher vibrational feelings. Divine Masculine says, yes, I got my story straight. Look at, I see it right here, right here. It's written in the book. What's written in the book? This wishes and dreams are coming true. To be operating from this loving self. That's what's coming true. That's what's written in the book. And that is going to make things change. Things are changing for the better. Things are changing for this magical awesome amazing story it's coming forward plans are being made right now plans are being set into place the divine masculine is making those plans and making sure that he is following sure through with what's written in the book so he's making those plans because he knows that it's a divine calling we have the empress is this Empress? Oh, we got the Queen of Cups here, which is nurturing, full of love. And she has an offering. That's all she has to offer is this loving way, operating from love and above. That's where she comes in. She goes, that's what I know how to do. That's what I'm good at. And because she kept working from that loving, amazing, beautiful self, new beginnings began. The new beginnings look shiny. They look radiant. They look like Wow, we can do this. This like looks like fun. This looks like excitement. This looks like something we can do. The masculine had to, this is in the past, had to go through a lot of those emotional feelings, but he was able to figure them out through his mind process, how to get through them to come out the better end. What better end? This radiant, sunny, shiny better in this joyful happy playful self this radiant self this one this is the happiest card in the deck he was able to process those thought patterns of the past that used to be below love he's able to bring them up and above so they are love and above they're operating from joy laughter play passion desire excitement and from the heart making sure Everything is being done from the heart. Because they've been working together, separately, <laughs> they're coming together for this happy ever after, fairy tale dream. This, this is everything you ever dreamed of, everything you ever wanted. It's the home, it's the finances, it's the, it's the family, it's the love. It's abundant. You don't feel lack. You feel well taken care of. The emperor, 
He's been making these plants. He's been following the stars. He's been looking at the astrology to make sure that the plans are being followed just right. He's been sharing those plans with this guy so those plans can be taken out and, and, and put into action. Now, the Queen of Cups is just like, just pretty close to the Empress. So we have the Emperor and Empress together. That's a divine couple. One divine couple so far in the reading. Are there going to be any more? I don't know. I've had up to three. So that's been pretty cool. And what do we have next? Because all of this is divinely guided. All of it is divinely laid out. So that love story is coming together in a really abundant, in a really ful fulfilling way. So it's actually being utilized to the max from love and above. Joy, laughter, play, excitement, passion, <laughs> desire, yeah, yeah, yeah. Excitement, let's go, baby, let's go. And what's that bring us? The Ten of Cups, unconditional love. You are so much in love with life. You are so much in love with everything that is going on around you. All the people, all the places, all the things, anything and everything that's going on around you, you are so much in love with it. And what happens with that love, it brings union together. It brings laughter together. It brings excitement together. It brings that fun, laughter, play, joy, passion, desire, excitement. It brings union together. It brings the union, the couple together. It could bring marriage together. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let us go, let us go. Let's do it, baby, let's do it. Last card, bottom of the deck, Queen of Wands. This is the queen. She has conquered the dragon. The dragon and her are now friends because, you know, they learn from each other. But the dragon doesn't take her under anymore. The dragon and her do these things together to continue on with this beautiful love story that's in action, in movement, taking place right now. And guess what this card does? It brings what? Another divine couple into the reading. Woohoo, woohoo. We got the masculine making plans and we got the feminine that's co conquered all those lower emotions, all those dragons within. She is, she is like the master. So maybe he's taking, making plans for them to go places so she can teach how to conquer your dragon within. This is Cynthia Tola, Ms. Flip It, your Gypsy Madison woman and your happiness coach. Please remember to like and share and subscribe. It really helps get this kind of message out there to the people on a bigger level. And remember to come on Monday nights, Pacific, Monday nights, that means PM, <laughs> Pacific Standard Time, over on YouTube, over there on YouTube, over on that other app. Yeah, that other app over there. <laughs> Oh, is it this app? No, it's this app. It's this app. This is going on YouTube. So it's on this app. But it's only on Monday night at 9.30 Pacific Standard Time. 9.30 p.m. 9.30 p.m. I don't know why I forget that. Till uh, Pacific Standard Time. And if you happen to miss the live, but I wouldn't because it's exciting. People love being there. I mean, like I said, I mean, I got a message on here when I'm on here. I got a message over there. Same thing. They're excited. They want to be at that show. They don't want to miss out on anything because they know they get to chat with me. Or if they don't want to interrupt me from my reading at the moment when I'm talking, they talk with each other, sharing the stories that I've already been out there teaching. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place to be. So, if you miss the live, then go watch the replay. Let's see. Yep. That's it. Till next time, have a beautiful day.